Well, since I'm on the roll, I might as well finish the issue that I was talking about for the past few weeks or months. A few days ago, our infamous blogger, not infamous blogger, infamous language commission, Katrin Dantrama, came out with her final report. And I wish to say that I was... I was wrong. I expected her to come out with about 50 recommendations that there would be flames and protests all over the place here. But it was, she made her little presentation where she said there should be a department specialized in language. They should have a deputy minister and a minister for language. Can you imagine that one? My God. And I, there's another thing about language that I'm very concerned. I listened to, I don't know if you listened to it before, the CBC panel on Friday afternoon. It's good. But then, there was a female Acadian, I forgot, I don't know who her name is. But she used the term to call the French people in New Brunswick, francophone New Brunswicker. Francophone New Brunswicker. Les Francophones du Nouveau Brunswick. Not Acadian, not Acadien, Francophone. Francophone. That is the beginning of the end of the Acadians in New Brunswick. Because I noticed lately, if I use the term Moody Quebecois, there's more people getting upset. That means there's more Moody Quebecois in this province and Acadian day that's going to change to francophone day okay Charles focus 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 the language commission and then nobody asked her any question the only MLA that asked some question was David Kuhn I forgot what he asked there but uh, the MLA's never made a speech to congratulate her on her five-year term of, of having to cause a lot of shit between Francais and les Anglais. Nobody said a word. Silent, that was good. Out the door she went, au revoir, viens pas back, mange la marde, so disait. But she left two years before her term was over. Two years. So, all that money and leaving two years before your job, your term is up. Where is she going to go? Is she going to be appointed the new federal language commissioner? That would cause a revolution. Where is she going? That's the question. Nobody leaves a high paying job just like that and say au revoir. Um, I don't know. And then they, I just, Michel, uh, Brian Gallant didn't, I was hoping after her speech he would step in front of media and abolish this language commissioner post. Si t'as un problème avec le langage, va au ombudsman ou les droits humains du Nouveau Brunswick. Go to the ombudsman or the Human Rights Commission if you got a problem about language. But only Quebecois would have problem with, with language. The language commissioner is gone. No more. Au revoir. But now Michel Carrier took over the job temporary until the next election. If Blaine Higgs wins, you know that language commissioner is going to be bye bye. Or, you know, I mean, it, it has to. It has to. It has no use whatsoever. None. Bernard Lord made a huge mistake and putting that post there. But Brian Gallant didn't want to upset Les Francophones, the Nord-Est, so he just, uh, just leave it there till after the, the election. So the language commissioner is bye-bye. Next month, she's officially retired. And uh, I was wrong. I expected uh, a lot of trouble. So I don't know how Radio-Canada and L'Acadie Nouvelle covered this. So uh, the next step would be the paramedics uh, in the courts, that they be bilingual before sonority. Bilingual first, sonority after. 
Only in New Brunswick. Language Commissioner, paramedics, yes. Yes, we are changing into Francophone, Nouveau Brunswick, and that means Moody Québécois.